Hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, New York? What's up, New York? What's going on, guys? So, let's go back to the future. Who liked the movie Back to the Future? Let's talk about Back to the Future. I'm giving away my age. I was a huge fan of Back to the Future when it came out. I think we all were. So where am I going with this? What if you could go back in time and know a couple of things that would serve you today? That's the topic today, and we're going to get very, very real. I'm going to get specific today, okay? I'm going to give you guys four things that I know for a fact are going to serve you in the next cinco años, five years. Five years, cinco años, cinq ans. Let's go trilingual on this one. So, you guys remember Back to the Future 2, part 2, part 2, I think, I believe it's part 2, where Biff, is it Biff or, it's Biff, it's Biff, correct me if I'm wrong, I can see your comments guys, you guys remember Back to the Future part 2, I believe it's part 2, with Biff, when he finds Oh, I may screw this up. I may screw this up, but as far as my rec as as far as my recollection serves me, Biff found the sports almanac. Okay, do you guys remember that? When Biff found the sports almanac, which is all the scores, all the winnings of sports and he brings it into the future. He goes back and grabs it, brings it into the future, and he's got all of the statistics, that would be more accurate, to sports scores. So he can bet on all these sports scores. I love that movie because I think everyone who saw that movie said, if only, if only I had that sports almanac. If, I, if only I, ha, I could predict what's going to happen. Okay. I think this live is going to be very valuable in the future. <laughs> I'm going to look back on it and say, I told you so. I told you so. Here's the deal. If you are a small business owner or an aspiring entrepreneur, good for you. For starters. Um, I'm going to talk about building your business online right now. The four things that I know for a fact are going to serve you. And these are four things that you need to set up ASAP. Okay. These four things are, I think I'm going to give them away that easily. Of course I will. The four things that I believe are like the sports almanac right now, if you're a small business owner, they are number one, your education system. Are you learning the right things consistently to keep up with the times of the new modern world of technology? You have to stay plugged in. You have to be in a university mindset of always learning because here we go. If you're not current, you are irrelevant. And this doesn't apply to, I mean, it applies today more than ever with technology always changing, marketing strategies always changing, so on and so forth. So that's the first thing you need to I guess I could say plug into. Don't worry, I'm going to hook you guys up in a second here. But you need to be aware of these four things. If you want the sports almanac from Back to the Future 2. So number one, you need to feed that brain with the right education. 
always, 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 ABL, always be learning, number one. Number two, uh, here we go. You need a capture mechanism for your own personal, individual audience to yourself. You need to start accumulating and building your own audience. But your audience is one thing. The capture mechanism is another. So I'm going to give you four things today that if you set up properly, you're armed for battle to where this digital world is going. Every business, every successful business will need these four things in place. And businesses are just starting to realize this, believe it or not like even big businesses, huge big box businesses. Some of them get it, some of them don't, which is why we make a lot of money as online marketers setting businesses up like this. Small businesses, forget about it. I don't even want to give you a statistic. It's definitely over 90% of them don't even know they need to do this. So it's a huge opportunity for people who set businesses up like this. Number one, well, their education, I don't know, we can educate them. But let's talk about you. You as an entrepreneur, doesn't matter the business, doesn't even matter in this case, if you have a business, it doesn't. The question for me to you, the question from me to you is, would you like to have a home-based business? Would you like to do your own thing? Would you like to work in your pajamas? Now's the time you can do that. So, number one, you gotta have a learning, you gotta, you gotta be plugged in to some kind of a learning system. No different than going to university. Yo, we got class in an hour, let's go. You get that. Number one, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I'm gonna recommend some places to plug in. Number two, you need a mechanism to capture audience members so that you can nurture them with your content, with your face, with your voice. Say, good morning, everybody. You got to get into people's psyches by providing value that is content that is helping them with their problem. Seems simple to many of us, but I'm breaking it down to four pieces. So that's number two, a mechanism. I'm going to go with a blog. That's what it really is. Your blog is the best way, non-advanced way, to capture audience members. We're going to keep it basic. So, education on a consistent basis, a, a, a place you go, a classroom, a university classroom, you gotta tune in. You gotta show up at class, number one. Number two, an audience capture mechanism this doesn't matter what business you're in. And even if you don't have a business yet or an idea, don't worry. Number four is going to take care of that. So number two is a mechanism. We'll say a blog. Education, blog. Number three is your actual audience collection <laughs> system. Your database. There we go. I like that. So there's a difference between number two, your audience capture mechanism, and number three, your database of names and emails and people that are tuning into you regular, irregularly. So they're two different things. Because now we're getting very specific. You need a education. I'm, I'm, I'm doing like offer stacking, right? But I'm not offering anything. Well, I'm going to pitch you at the end with an invitation to a webinar. Of course I will. This is a kind of a CTA to a webinar this Sunday. I put that out there right now. So number one is educational platform. I'm stacking. Number two is uh, blog. Keep it simple. Where people land on your blog, boom, they're in your audience. You want, you want your blog to do two things. No, you want your blog to do many things. But you want the, 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 the goal of your blog, the goal of your blog is to either capture people in your custom audience by them just landing on your blog and you want capture mechanisms in there that they could fill out. So you're gathering emails and you're gathering people just based on a little piece of code in your website. 
that's going in your custom audience or your email list. Pretty simple, right? And then you want your database where you can access your emails, send out messages to your people to let you know, here's another thing that may help you out or come to a webinar or buy my stuff, but you don't want to do that. You want to invite to a webinar. I'm going into too much into depth here. So we got that, we got the education, we got the blog to capture, and we got the database where all your information is stored. Number four is your income stream, something to sell. If you don't have something to sell, we can talk about that on Sunday. We're gonna dive into all these things. So those four, I'm gonna call them components of setting up a business in today's modern world, today's modern digital world. Those four things, that's it, that's it. It comes down to four things. Plugging into education, going to class with an educational system, show up for class, take in the content here and here. Number one. Number two, a blog. You can't get around it anymore. A blog to, well, if you want to do it right, a blog to capture your audience members. You've got to build your audience. Number three, somewhere to house your audiences, audience members, a database, okay? We could go into autoresponder, all that, but I'm not going to go into too much detail. And number three, uh, number four is something to sell. That's it. That's all you need. Those are the four things. So once you've got those four things in place, there are seven action activities, <laughs> seven action activities that you must take every time you go to work. Because when I say every day, I don't want people to get it twisted in the sense that, well, I don't have time to work every day. Let's say, let's say you have, let's say you're working on your home business three times a week. You need to schedule that. If you're working on your home business three times a week, that would be every day, <laughs> the three times. So every day you show up at work, you need to implement, you need to take action on seven steps. So the four things, education, blog, audience, database, and something to sell are things you set up. Okay, you set those things up, but you can't, it's not like Ron Popeil would say, set it and forget it. No, you set it and then you work it. Set it and work it. So to work it, there are seven specific steps that you must take every day. With to seven actions you must take on those four things you just set up. And here's what I'm going to promise you. If you set those four things up and you take the seven steps, take action on those four things that you just built, on a consistent basis, you can't fail. You can't fail. Not in today's modern digital world. You can't fail. So, if you've got a business, that means you've got number four set up. If you don't have a business, you gotta, you, you gotta get number four set up, which is something to sell, an income stream. You can have multiple number fours. I recommend you do. I actually recommend you start with two number fours, two income streams, and I'll tell you exactly which ones I recommend they are, which leads me, are we 15 minutes in? Okay, I think it's time to drop the ball here. I would like to invite you guys to a special, super special webinar this Sunday. Why is it special? Because I says to myself the other day, I was thinking, what should I cover? What should I cover? What should I cover this Sunday? And I'm like, I think I got it. If I had nothing, with what I know now, how would I start over? How would I start over with what I know now? I know you guys say it all the time. If I knew then what I know now, I'd be successful. Who says that all the time? I always say, if I knew then what I knew now, it's then right now. 
now is then. Now is early in the game. So, therefore, this Sunday, I'm going to go through the four, what I just told you, the four things. Education, I, I just gave them to you right now. So you can be resourceful. However, the seven action steps on how to attack those four things and make them work for you, that's a Sunday thing. We're gonna, well, first we're gonna set up those four things together. We'll set them up for you. If you don't have them, that's kind of good because we're gonna set them up for you, those four things. Set you up for free. Don't worry. I'm gonna guide you where you need to go, especially for the income streams. And there's not gonna be much guesswork this Sunday. Now, once you set those four things up, people overcomplicate things, guys. People way overcomplicate things. Those four things are set up. All you need to do after that is take seven specific action steps, and we're gonna dive into those. As a matter of fact, we're going to do those. <laughs> I'm going to basically set up a business from scratch this Sunday, and those of you who are there, I can only let 100 people in this Sunday, okay? The link's up there. The link is up in the description. So you may want to, you definitely want to register for this one. I would say that those of you that feel like you're spinning your wheels and you're questioning yourself on whether you're doing the right things, you are correct on questioning yourself. There's nothing more frustrating than doing the wrong things and crossing your fingers. Having faith is one thing. You got to have faith. You got to have faith, faith, faith. But, oh, Cuba Libre. Sorry. Yeah, shiny Cuba syndrome. The Cuba book there I might grab. Actually, I will grab it. Anything that has to do with Cuba, my second home, by the way, for those of you who don't know. And yes, I do fly to Cuba. I hate it, but I do it anyways. So that's it, guys. This Sunday, I'm super excited about it because it's going to apply to everyone as far as I'm concerned. People who already have their things set up is going to maybe realign what you're doing. There will be tons of aha moments and people who are just getting started. People who are not, I'm going to go and say, people who are not making real money. I'm going to say that because I don't think you have to wait to make money. I know you don't have to wait to make money. The only difference, yes, you have to invest in yourself and learn and you have to build your audience so you can resell to them. However, with some elbow grease, if these components are in place and you take those seven steps, a lot of things are going to happen. You will get out of your comfort zone and then it's gonna, just going to come down to how bad you want it. It's not rocket science. It's not hard in the terms of hours worked. It's hard in the terms of contacting people that contact you. I don't think that's hard. So I'm going to give it all away this Sunday. Okay, guys, free webinar. I call this one a master class because that's what it is. It's going to be very specific. Four building blocks, four components you need to set up and seven action steps that you need to consistently take. And what I like about this system is that there's a bit of both. There's a bit of, uh, they're drilling already. There's a bit of both, uh, both of what, right? There's a bit of investing in your business for future growth with, well, you'll see what I mean. You're, you're, you're investing in something that will just eventually blow up. And the other part is instant results. Okay. So it's a bit of both, a bit of grind and a bit of investing in the future so that you don't have to grind. So this Sunday, the topic of the webinar, the link is in the description, y'all. The topic of the webinar should be back to the future because it's going to be one of those sports almanac moments where you will look in a couple of years and when people are really starting to catch on to what needs to be done, 
you know, say, I remember that webinar that either I didn't go to or even worse, I went to and I did not take action on. I had the sports almanac in my hands. Almanac. I had it. I had the future in my hands. It's right here. It's so early, guys. Nobody, like I said, not, most businesses are not doing this, specifically home entrepreneurs. Okay? 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 So, kill it 20 minutes, we're done. I will see you guys on Sunday, letting 100 people in max, show up 15 minutes early, and I promise to kick it off with, of course, a nice song for y'all, because I know that's why you guys really tune in to hear me sing so have an awesome friday it's when i do these little promo videos have an awesome friday and if i had to start over how would i build my business with what components i just told you and which actions would i take all right guys i'll see you guys on sunday bye bye now